Light of Hope TV. Bringing hope, the anchor of our soul. Your name or your request, please. My name is Jennifer Mutogwamole, but... You are from where? Yes. I'm from Botswana. Okay, so what is your request? Man of God, I'm, I'm struggling financially. I have a lot of debt. I'm not working currently. My son is home, not schooling. And as a result of all this, um, I'm having depression. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm having pains all over my neck that protrudes to my back. It's been a long time. I'm even staying in my sister's house. I don't have a place of my own. Okay. It's something so you like nature. Your neck back. Yes, from just from the neck downwards. Okay. Yes. Are you having any pain now? Yes, I have pain. Like I rub almost every 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 day. Are you having that pain now? Are you feeling the pain now as I'm speaking? Yes. Yes, and if that, and if that pain go and if that pain go away now, you will know. Amen. I'm asking you, if the pain go away now, you will know. Yes, I will know. I will know. Okay. I'll definitely know. God Almighty will set you free. But he will Amen. use that pain, healing that pain instantly to let you know that as a sign that he has granted your request. Okay? Amen. Okay. Amen, sir. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to Jesus right now. Open your heart yes. to Jesus. Ask God for mercy and forgiveness. Okay. Ask for his mercy and his forgiveness. Mercy, his mercy and his forgiveness upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I commit your daughter into your hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. The light, let it shine upon her life. In the name yes, of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, by your fire, search out and expose every being tormenting this life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey! All over your body right now, in Jesus Christ's name. In the name of Jesus Christ's name. All over your body. The fire, the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, no hiding place for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no hiding place for you. In the oh. mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? Who are you? You say what? Ancestral spirit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where have you? Where? 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 Where do you come after from? Where are you? Marriage. You say what? After, after her marriage. You tied her marriage. What else do you tie? Yes. What else? Yes. She was supposed to be married. Okay. To a prominent figure. Okay. I tied everything. Okay. I tied even the finances. Okay. I tied the finances. I tied okay. her life. Okay. Yes. Where I are you from? Where are, where are you from? Where are you from? From her mother's side. Where are you from? You have a place where you come from. You are not from any mother's side. You are a demon. Where is your, your kingdom? Your kingdom. Your kingdom. What kingdom do you belong to? Satan. Satan. Okay. What is your name? What is your name? You that is speaking now, what is your name? A gentleman. Giant man. man. Okay. Yes. Okay. How long have you been tormenting? How long have you been tormenting? Are you giant man? Since birth. Since birth. How did you enter her? How did you enter her? 
She was donated to me. She was donated to you. Okay. Okay, how many of you are in her? How many of you are in her? How many of you? We are two. Okay, Giant Man is number one. Who is number two? Ancestral spirits. Okay, you, Ancestral Spirit and Giant Man, two of you are the one tormenting her. Yes. Okay. So why, why, why are you tormenting her? What is your gain in tormenting her? She's supposed to be a great woman. Okay, so what's your problem with being great? You don't want it. We don't want, we want her to suffer. Why? We why want do you want to suffer? Why do you want like her to suffer? Said, if we release her, she'll be helping a lot of people. Like I'm saying, she was supposed to be married to a prominent figure. Okay, okay. But what is the problem with helping other people? What is the problem? Why don't you want her to help people? Don't want people to be helped. You don't, don't want. want. We don't want. We don't want. She, we don't want. Oh. She likes. She likes charity a lot. We don't want. And, we, and, and you, don't like, you don't like charity. Right now, we have tied her. She cannot even go to church. Okay. She's home every day. See what? She's home. She's not attending church. Okay, she's home every day. Mm. Okay. Now, We've tied the finances. Tied the finances. Now, uh, you know you know Jesus? I don't want to hear. You don't want to hear, but you know Jesus. Who is Jesus? Mm. Who is Jesus? Mm. Your master. My master. Okay. Jesus is my master. Now. Now. Are you not are you not a son of Prophet Tibi Joshua? Yes, um, yes, yes. Prophet Tibi Joshua. Yes, he's my mentor. You people are dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. We are dangerous. What do you How? mean by we are dangerous? How did she connect to you people? So what is this? The, the son of Prophet Tibi Joshua, what are we doing to you? Uh, uh, you are affecting our kingdom so much. Okay. So much. So the children of Petit Joshua, Joshua, hold on, hold on. So the children of Petit Joshua are affecting your kingdom so much. So much, and they're everywhere. Really? <laughs> we so they are everywhere the affecting your you. kingdom. Hey, we thought that was the end of you. Hey. You say what? You say what? You say what? Come again? You say. We thought it was the end of him when he died, but you look at what is happening now. What is happening? Tell me what's happening. What is happening? You people who are spreading the light everywhere. Really? We are in trouble. Oh. So the children of Petit Joshua are spreading the light everywhere. Everywhere, even in scorn. It's fire, fire everywhere. Really? So you thought that the Petit Joshua has gone. You think the light has gone finally. You know that the light is, is coming the more. That is why we are keeping her from going to church because the one is the church he has, she is attending is the son of Prophet Tibi Joshua. So we are keeping we thought we, we would we would okay, win. So you thought you have achieved for not making her to go to church. You don't know that she will still connect with another son of Prophet Tibi Joshua online. You didn't know. I didn't know. So the light, the, the light of yesterday, the light of God. Yesterday, 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 I was trying to disconnect. Even right now, I've been fighting here to say, disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. See, they said from two o'clock to five o'clock, disconnect, just disconnect. Five, ten minutes, they want to attend to you. Disconnect. Uh, we didn't know because we didn't, we want we didn't want her to connect to you. Okay, you didn't want her to connect. You said, oh, if she waits, you should not disconnect. She should not continue again. Not wait again. Mm. Okay. Now, now Jesus, my master, wants to come and take over this temple. This temple belongs to Jesus. This temple belongs to Jesus. Okay? So you have to go back to where you come from. Go back to where you come from. You giant man, you ancestral spirit, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Right now, the fire of the Holy Ghost all over your body right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost all over your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now go. Now go. Now go. Everything you have put in your body, begin to remove them. Everything you put in your body, in a tongue, in a mouth, in a face, in a neck, remove them. Whatever you planted in a stomach, 
Remove them. Everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything. Everything you keep in the body. What's in stagnation, failure. Everything you giant man and ancestral spirit has put in the body. Begin to remove them right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to remove them right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to remove them right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to remove them right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to remove them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remove everything you have planted in a body. Remove everything you have planted in a life. Remove them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, remove them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, what you put in the hands, a neck, a neck, remove what you put in the wrists, a wrist, a fingers. Remove them, what you put in the head, a head, a head. Remove them, remove them, remove them. In the name of Jesus Christ, 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 remove them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now get out of her. 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 In Jesus Christ's name. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. <coughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Now get out. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. In Jesus Christ's name. Leave this body. Leave this body. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Look here. Look here. Look here. Cut. Name. You are dead. Accept your spirit. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your hearts. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Now go. Now go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh go. Go now. Go. Go now. Oh, God. Go, there's no hiding place for you. You deceptive spirits. You giant man, command you to go. You ancestral spirits. Now go. Out. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Christ. Jesus Christ. Look at In Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 How are you? How are you? Hey, I'm feeling dizzy. You are feeling dizzy. Okay. What happened to you? What happened to you? I don't know where the thought. You were saying something. What were you saying? And I just vomited. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. Jesus Christ has set you free. Go and live your oh, life for Jesus. You, you have been Jesus. delivered. You have been set free. Your light has Thank come. Jesus. Breakthrough has come. Thank Check you. that your neck. That your neck that was paining you before. Check that neck. Check it. 
Check the neck, the back. Oh, there's no pain. There's no oh pain. Oh my God. There's, there's no, no pain. pain. Glory be no to Jesus. All. So you are free. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. It's well with you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, God bless you. Thank God bless you. Thank you. God bless, bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Good morning and win today, win forever and win every day. My name is Jennifer Musoko Mulebatse from Botswana. I currently reside in Khaboroni, Botswana. I was privileged to attend a prayer session one-on-one -on -one with Evangelist Nelson uh, of Light of Hope Ministries yesterday. First of all, I would like to take you through to what I've been going through. I've been facing stagnation in almost all areas of my life. I'm not working currently. Um, I'm in so much debt. I'm at the age of 46, I'm still single. My son, my only son, is not attending school since last year. He's home since last year. So, because of all these pressures, all these troubles that I'm facing, I this caused a lot of sicknesses in my body. I've been having strange pains in my neck that protrudes to my back. Some days I couldn't even I couldn't even sleep because of these pains. So I've been struggling, struggling and struggling all this while. So I happened to come across Evangelist Nelson on Facebook as he was, um, as I was paging through. So I decided, well, let me just, um, more so that he had left his WhatsApp number. And I decided, let me just contact this man of God and see what God can do for me. As the Bible says that, you know, when you honor a prophet of God, God will reward you. So I decided, let me, let me contact him. I'm attending one ministry, uh, and for some time now, I haven't been able to attend church. And um, this has been causing so much pain in my heart because as you know, when your life when your Christian life is, is, is stagnant, especially when you are going through so much, honestly, it, it, it brings a lot of pain. So I decided, let me just contact this man of God since he has left his WhatsApp uh, number. And by the grace of God, when I contacted him, um, I just sent my, my prayer request on, on WhatsApp and uh, he, he invited me for a one-on-one -on -one prayer session which I was very grateful of. So I was privileged to attend. By the grace of God, yesterday, uh, God was praying for me, Evangelist Nelson. I, I, I lost control of myself. I could see that I'm speaking, but I didn't have control over what I was saying. And, you know, I, I just couldn't control myself. I was feeling weak and dizzy, you know. All of a sudden, as he was praying for me, I just experienced those changes. Until after some time, a uh, man of God said to me, how are you? And I was so dizzy, and only to realize that I was even vomiting. So, man of God asked me, how are you? I said, man of God, I'm, I'm feeling dizzy. He said, Thank God you have been delivered. I said, thank you, Jesus. And the heaviness that I was feeling. And then he asked me, rather he asked me, how are you feeling now? I said, I'm feeling this. And then he said, what about the pain that you've been complaining of? To my greatest surprise, I couldn't move, move my head like this to, to the other side and to the other side. And I did it and I was moving it flexibly. So I was really shocked and I told men of God, no, the pain that I was feeling on my back of my neck, I cannot feel it anymore. And then men of God said, uh, you are healed. 
give glory to Jesus. I thank the man of God. Um, to take you back, when I decided to send the message uh, on WhatsApp about my prayer, my prayer request, and the man of God responded to say I should attend a one-on-one -on -one prayer session. People of God, I don't know what was happening to me. There was like a force that was telling me not to. I was really struggling. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? You know, to a point where at the time when I was supposed to attend this prayer session, uh, there was really a struggle. To, it was it seemed that two forces. Something is telling me on my head, like I shouldn't attend. But in my heart, I know I want to attend. But there was this force that was forcing me. My belief is that since I have now been delivered, I will testify upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that my story has changed. I believe that my life has been restored. My belief is that I have been reinstated. I believe that my son will go back to school. I believe that my story will change. My financial life will change. My marital life will change. All other areas in my life will change. If God can heal me now of a pain that I've, I've been struggling with, what, what is it that he cannot do? I believe that every other problems that I brought before God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua will surely change in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to glorify God and give him all the glory, the honor and adoration for he deserves it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Thank you, God of uh, evangelist Nelson. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.